How's it going guys? It's Rich Junkie and in today's video we're going to do some benchmarks on these two devices, the HTC One M9 and this Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So it's going to be fun. We're going to do a little testing above quadrants with some temperature as well. So I hope you guys like this. Let's go do it. So in this video, like I've told you, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run some quadrants um, or some benchmarks on these two phones. This is my HTC One M9 and my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So first thing I want to do though, because I'm going to make my quadrant a little different. Everybody's talking about this overheating processor in the HTC One M9 and I'm just wanting to do a kind of a quick comparison between the two devices. So I've got my handy dandy little... Uh, temp gun here. It says my desk is at 72 degrees. And uh, we're going to do some testing. So, first thing we do is get a baseline. So, our HTC One M9 is basically at, eh, we're going to round up, 74 degrees. And our Galaxy S6 is 73. So they're a degree off, but that's fine. Just everybody remember, we got one degree lower on the uh, Galaxy S6. All right. So these are both devices are off. I want to keep this as even as we can. Nothing's running yet. So we're going to go ahead and hold down power on this one and get it to start up. And then we're going to do the same on the Galaxy S6 Edge. There we go. And let both these devices start up really quickly. And I've already pre-installed everything. I want them to have pretty much equal runtime so that everything makes as much sense as we can and gives a real good even, even feel to it. So we're going to let them boot up. And as soon as they boot, we're going to go into the app drawers and we're going to get out our benchmark program. Now, I'm not actually using Quadrant. I think I'm using, I don't even know how to say the name of the thing. Oh, here's my fingerprint. Hang on. Fingerprint scanner. Gotta love it. Um, all right, where are we at here? There it is. We're using this thing. Ant, Ant Tutu. I don't even know how to say it. And we're coming here. And we got both of them. So let's go ahead and open them both up. And I have enabled the 64-bit uh, benchmark stuff on both of them already because I have run a benchmark on both these already. But it should be interesting to see the temperature difference on these two devices. So one more time really quick. Let's do this. That one's a little bit warmer, 75. And this one with the screen on says it's 77. And then just because this is also where you notice the heat up, Go ahead and flip them over. 79. Back of this one says 74. All right, just so you guys get a pretty good feel of the overall temperature of the device. So let's go ahead and do that again. And let's also see which one does it quicker. So ready, one, two, three. And let's see which one has the faster benchmark. And we're gonna take some temperatures on them kind of probably about midway and then we'll take some temperatures again on them at about um, about at the end. So let's do this. Just so you guys do know, both of these are on Wi-Fi. So um, yeah, both of them had that check connection for network, which is interesting. Um, neither of them are activated right now. They're both just on Wi-Fi. All right, so we're here. It's about 50%. Let's go ahead and check the temperature. 80 degrees on that one and 82 degrees on the S6. So that's not too bad, not too bad yet. I'm a little surprised, I was expecting a little bit warmer myself. Um, I think the backs are gonna be a little bit warmer, so we'll shoot those at the end here. While we're waiting on our scores, let me go ahead and shoot this thing again. So we're up to 90 degrees here, 91 degrees, eh, it's varying, about 90. And then we've got about 84 on the S6. Now, let's go ahead and flip this thing over. Take a back shot. Okay, so 82 degrees on the S6. Not bad at all, really. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit warmer, but, you know, that ain't, that ain't too bad. See, it's funny that they're both going into this uh, kind of like loading mode, which is really weird. Not sure why they're doing that. Must be my network. Let me go ahead and shoot the back of the M9. And also, 
Yeah, not bad. About 90 degrees. So, you know, normally running a benchmark is takes a little bit of uh, juice to do, so I'm uh, pretty happy with that. So there you go, there's your details. So when it comes to the score, 55,530 for the M9, and you can see the S6 is really quite a bit more. This is 68,949. That's 12, 13,000 better than the M8, which is cool, and, and the device really proves it. It is very, very smooth and sleek and fast. But matching it, looking at it, they look very comparable, which I thought was very interesting. So very, very cool. There you go, those are the two. Just for giggles, we're gonna run a couple of these and see how hot we can get both these devices. Let's do that. All right, perfect. HTC One M9 has just finished. Score is pretty close to the same. We're at 93 degrees, so 95. We're starting to heat up. Check the back. All right, that's even more, 102. All right, let's set that down. Shoot the front of this one, 95. Flip it over, shoot the back. Wow, very cool. Uh, 89. So not bad at all for the S6. Now I was kind of expecting it to be cooler. Scores again are really con pretty much, you know, comparable to what they were the first time. Let's, let's get crazy and run it some more. We really want to see how hot we can get these things. Yeah, one more time. finished ahead this time. Let's go ahead and shoot it. And 96, I guess. Probably my best one there. Again, scores are very equivalent. Let's go ahead to the back. 96 is the best number I've got on the back. Um, this one's actually gotten a little bit lower in score, which is interesting, about 49,000. Oh my word, I gotta mute that. Let's go ahead and shoot this one. Wow, look at that, 103. Oh my goodness, this is gonna drive me nuts. Zach. And 106. So you know, it's, it's 10 degrees hotter, in essence. So 10 degrees hotter, you know what I mean? Um, so it is a little bit warmer. There is a lot more metal on this device, which is surprising. You'd think it would disperse the heat a little bit better on the M9 versus the more more plastic and glass over here. But maybe the insides are actually that hot, but they're not dispersing because it's through glass versus the metal. I'm not sure, I know metal conducts heat a lot better than glass does. So it's possible the internals are really even actually that hot. But, just interesting, I'm gonna run one more, just because, why not, we can, right? We really wanna get a good stress test on this thing, so let's do another one. Test again. This will be my last one and just get a final reading on the heat. This will be about a good 20, 25 minutes of runtime. So I'm sure that you're going to get pretty good results. And this is pretty much using the processor to its fullest. It's what it's trying to do graphics and everything. So you should get a pretty good feel for how hot either of these devices can get. All right, here we go, last one. We're gonna go ahead and shoot this bad boy again. 103, that's actually a little less than the last, the last score we had. Flip it over. Okay, 
110. 109. 109. Eh, not bad. Uh, 98, 100, and we'll flip it over, and much cooler, 96. So I guess to wrap this up guys, I run these things for 30 good minutes, and full graphics, screens on, everything rocking and rolling on them. Yes, the HTC One gets, yeah, I don't know, 5 to 10 degrees hotter than the S6 but not enough to hurt it in my opinion 110 degrees is really nothing to a processor um, not really a big deal so uh, all that to say if you're worried about the 810 processor in the m9 i wouldn't uh, obviously the s6 performs fine real easy obviously a much faster device too according to the uh, benchmarks if you like that kind of stuff there you are hope you guys like this video here on the hcc1 m9 and the s6 Stay tuned for more coverage on both these devices, especially I've done a bunch on the M9. I haven't even done an unboxing video or anything on it yet, so um, it's obviously out of the box already, so it'll just be a review. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that stuff, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.